Hi guys! Um, today I'm going to be making uh, Italian style stuffed jalapenos. Um, basically I looked in my fridge, I saw what I had available and was like, well, don't have any cheddar cheese or Mexican style cheese or you know anything to be able to really contribute to it being a um, normal or traditional uh, jalapeno and I usually will wrap mine in bacon anyway and I don't have any of that either. So what I do have is prosciutto, I have pesto, and I have my cream cheese, and I have mozzarella cheese, and um, something that is called Flavor God Pizza. Now, if you don't have Flavor God Pizza available to you, um, or if you don't own it, what the ingredients are is tomato powder, garlic, paprika, sea salt, black pepper, basil leaves, coriander powder, oregano, and parsley flakes. So if you have a variety of those seasonings available in your pantry and you're able to use them, then absolutely make your own concoction to your taste buds. Uh, if you want that tomato-y flavor and you don't have tomato powder, because I don't really know much you know, about that, but I don't think I know it, that it's available. Um, you could use probably about half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon of tomato paste uh, inside with your cream cheese and it'll give it that nice tomato base of a flavor with all of your other spices that you'll add in. Um, so let's start. Here I have a lovely combination of some pesto that I had made and jarred up. All right, so I'm just gonna use about a tablespoon worth. That's about a tablespoon worth of pesto. Okay, That's about a tablespoon worth. Eyeing it. And you know what? This is just not working for me. Now that I've got my hands inside gloves. All right, now I can really get in here and mix this all up. Um, I think I'm gonna put the mozzarella in now. Okay. And I would say that that is about a cup. It's about a cup worth, definitely. Okay, so at this point we're going to Stuff a jalapeno. So we're gonna grab our jalapeno, we're gonna grab a little bit of the filling, okay? And we're just gonna really fill that up right here. You know, the best that we can to make it like heaping, pretty much, right? So something along the lines of that here. And wrapping them in to the best that we can, pieces of prosciutto. Okay, ah. you know what, bam, it's wrapped. Okay, so now that I've finished wrapping all of them, you can see they are all right here, the best of my ability. It's kind of hard to do when the prosciutto kept falling apart, but you make do. Um, so now you have your oven preheated, so it's 400 degrees, so you're just gonna do it for like 20 minutes, and these babies should be nice and melty and delicious. Okay, as you can hear, it has been 20 minutes. Alexa, stop. And they are ready to be taken out of the oven. I'm very excited, they smell so good. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. One melted, that's okay. It's still gonna be delicious. It's gonna taste the same. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so excited. All right, so uh, I'll see you in a minute or two. You wanna kinda let it cool down just slightly so that you don't burn the roof of your mouth. Um, so I'll see you soon. All right, so we've allowed it to cool. And as you can see, all nice and melted. Okay, now for the taste test. <laughs> Did 
take two. Uh, okay, so the cheese is all melted and I'm very excited. Those flavors are killer. Yeah. You should try this. This is worth trying. You should make this. Yeah, I'm very excited to like have my husband taste it now. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you try this and let me know if you do in the comments below. And I hope you have an awesome day. All right, bye.